Welcome to Piano Video Lessons Lesson 14, Year 1. Hopefully you're here on pianovideolessons.com. Click the info card to come to the website where you can get the printables and the lesson index if you're not here already. We're going to learn to play at the park today. In our last lesson, we learned about repeat bars. And you can see here that this piece has a repeat. And so when we get to the very end of this piece, we're going to play it again without stopping or adding any time. It's just as if we'd taken this page and kept on writing it over again. So no stopping, just repeating. And the second time you get to the end, the song is over. These guys only last just the once. All right, so let's have a look at this piece. We're gonna do the same thing we always do when we're learning a new piece of music, and the first one is to just make sure we know what all these notes are. So we're gonna go through and name the notes. Here we go. F, E, F, G, F, E, F, C, C, F, E, F. F, F, C, C, F, F, F. F, E, F, G, F, E, F. So if you found anything tricky, then go ahead and circle it and practice that first each time you play. Next, we're going to go back through, and this time we're going to tap and count. So we've been clapping and counting, but because this uses both hands and it goes from left to right to left, instead of clapping, we're going to use the hand to tap the beat, the one which would have played those exact notes. So let's have a look here. It starts with left hand, does these two measures. So let's try that. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then it goes to the right hand, where we have one, two, three, four, and then we're right back into the left hand. So let's try that part, the second half of the first line. It goes one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So notice we're using our information that we gained from a time signature lesson. We're no longer just counting to one for the quarter notes. We're going to count all four of the beats, restarting every time we reach a bar line, because that tells us we're into a new team of four notes. So coming back from here, let's tap the whole line. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now I'm on the next line. Oh, this is fun. Look. One, two, three, four. The left hand plays on beats one and two. The right hand plays on beats three and four. And then we have one, two, three, four. So something else has happened here. We have a new rest, and I'll tell you right now that's a half rest, and it is a two-beat rest. It looks a lot like a whole rest, but a whole rest is a four-beat rest. I'll teach you more about that in another lesson, but I think you can probably see the difference by the way I've drawn them here. It's a very small difference. Okay, so it's going to tap one, two, and then three, four. And then the reverse happens in this next measure. It goes one, two, and then three, four. And then we'll finish out the piece playing with the left hand. So I'll write the counting in for that. So let's just try line two. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Repeat. So we have to go back to the beginning, but we shouldn't stop. One, two, three, four. 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 Nice. So now we know that we know the notes and we've tapped and counted. The next step is going to be to prepare our position, uh, the hand position, and look at, figure out where the notes are going to go. So it says three on F, so I'll get all my fingers relaxed here on this position that I've formed around the F with finger three. And then it says one on C, so I'm going to get my one ready here on C. Now I'm just going to look through the music and see that it goes three down, up, up down, down, up, and then C, C, and then I'm back to line two again, or line four, I guess, fourth line F. And I was playing this at the beginning of the song, and it was with finger three. So I'm going to be on my three again for F, down, and up. And then I have F some more. F, F, and then right hand, C, C, and then I have F, F. So that's a bit tricky. That might be hard to play. I might have to think about this quite a bit. So I'm going to circle it. I'm going to play that first. F, 
F, then I change C, C, F, F, F. I played this note too. So this is a section that might be tricky and might be important to practice. Then I have something very similar to the beginning. It's F down, F up, F down, up. So this is important to look for also, any of these little patterns that might uh, become obvious in the music. And so sometimes it's not a bad idea to just show where these same patterns are by making um, color in your music or something to help you find uh, those similarities so you can relax a little bit. So you're going to prepare your fingers and you're going to look for patterns. And now we're ready to play. And we can do this a few ways, and let's try the first way by saying what the note names are. And that will keep us um, thinking about the letters. So I've got three on F, thumb on C, and I'm ready to name the letters. Here I go. F, E, F, G, F, E, F for two, C, two, C, two, F, E, F, or two. F, F, C, C, F, 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 or two. F, E, F, G, F, E, F, repeat. F, E, F, G, F, E, F, or two. C, two. C two, F E F two, F F C C F F F two, F E F G F E F two. All right. So you might have been surprised when I did the repeat, but you have to look for those and make sure you repeat it. Uh, now I'm going to play it again. I'm not going to repeat this time, but only to save time right now. You should repeat every time you play it. And I'm going to count out loud to four the whole time I'm playing. So here I go. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three, repeat. So one thing that I'm going to draw your attention to is that I'm looking at the notes when I play. I'm not looking at my fingers. My fingers are connected to my mind and they know that if they move from a neighbor to a neighbor that they're playing with fingers that are beside each other. So it's really important when you play to keep your eyes on the page, not on your hands. So keep your eyes looking at the book. All right, so practice at the park along with all of your other pieces that we've learned so far and try to get it nice and steady and practice it until you can do it five times without any stopping. Awesome. Join me in lesson 15 where I'm going to train your ear to hear patterns.